let me just talk uh, about the book and, 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 uh, and the environment that we describe in the book that we think presidential campaigns are now conducted in, and then about the, the, two, the 2008 race, and then take questions. Um, not The questions aren't always the same, but let me anticipate uh, two of them that almost always come up and answer them now. Yes, she can, and I don't know if he will. So you don't need to ask those. So they're taken care of. Um, John and I uh, wanted to write a book about, about the environment in which presidential politics is now conducted. Um, uh, it's an environment that we call in the book the freak show, uh, and that's not meant in a nice way. A lot of the things we write in the book are about the way things are, not the way we think things ought to be. And in fact, part of our motivation for writing the book and part of what we try to do is explain some of the darker and more negative aspects of American politics today to try to put some light on them so the country can have a discussion, we hope, to help foster that. And people can say, is this really the way we want our politics to be today? So in writing about things and saying in the book, as we do, uh, that Matt Drudge uh, of the Drudge Report website is the Walter Cronkite of this era, um, we're not celebrating that fact. And in fact, in most cases, we're deploring. We're saying it's, a, it's deplorable. Um, but we are trying to describe it. And as we talked about that book and what it would be like, the president won re-election. Um, George Bush's political career for the first five years in national life was phenomenal. He was remarkably successful. And after the midterm elections and then in 2002 and then after the president got reelected, there was great interest in the president and in Karl Rove, his chief political strategist, and how they had done it. What, what did they know about American politics? What did they know about the way to win? Now, as we started to write the book, month after month, uh, the political fortunes of George Bush and Karl Rove started to diminish. And luckily, John and I uh, had devised a theory that uh, would accommodate that outcome and explain um, uh, what, what, what had worked for five years and why it had stopped working. Um, at the same time, there's a lot of discussion and interest in the Democratic Party of why was Bill Clinton able to win two national elections, uh, presidential elections? Uh, why had the party lost in 2000 with Al Gore, in 2004 with John Kerry? Um, uh, what was it that Bill Clinton knew about the way to win? Uh, John and I had both covered the Clinton White House. I, as Bill mentioned, covered Bill Clinton before he was president. Uh, covered George Bush and Karl Rove, as we say in Arkansas. I'd been knowing them back before um, they ran for the White House together in, in, uh, in uh, 1998 when uh, President Bush was running for re-election. So we felt we understood something about what they knew. We felt we understood something about the environment uh, in 92 through, through uh, uh, 2000. Uh, Four, and that we thought that that environment would also be uh, the environment in 2008. And we wanted to try to explain the way to win. So this is some, some people who've looked at our book have said that Halpern and Harris are giving advice about how to run. Well, if there is advice in the book, it's not our advice. Um, it's our talking to the people who we think are the leading political strategists in America today. George Bush and Bill Clinton are not perfect. Karl Rove is not perfect either. They've made mistakes in their career. Uh, the Clinton and Bush records are going to end up, though, the same. Uh, they'll both have won two presidential races, uh, arguably as underdogs in all four races. Uh, you could certainly make the case, uh, looking at the conditions, that they had real challenges in winning the White House. Uh, uh, Bill Clinton uh, won pretty easily for re-election, the only one of the four that was a, 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 a real romp. Uh, but that was after he had been well down in the polls in uh, 1994 and 1995. They both will have defied history by winning a midterm election, uh, leading their party to congressional gains or minimal losses. Uh, Bill Clinton in 1998 in his second midterm, George Bush in uh, 2002 in his first. And then they'll both have lost um, uh, one midterm badly, losing control of Congress. Uh, I'm not great at math, but that's uh, batting 750. Uh, that's pretty good. And, and uh, it's part of a dynastic pattern that is pretty incredible. Uh, Bush, Clinton, uh, uh, Bush, and now we argue in the book, Hillary Clinton is well positioned as anyone to extend five straight elections won by Bushes and Clintons. That's pretty incredible uh, in a country that fancies itself pretty egalitarian. So again, the basic question we try to address is what is the way to win in politics today? If you want to uh, read some great stories about uh, how campaigns have run, uh, we think we have them. If you want to understand um, uh, how to evaluate the candidates, in, in Democrat or Republican, uh, which ones seem to understand the way to win, uh, we, we, we recommend it to you. Um, but also, again, if you want to think about what's gone wrong in America, why has the country become so polarized? Why is there so much negativity in our politics and our political media? We try to address that, too. As I said, we write about what, the way things are, not the way things uh, we think they ought to be. Uh, there are a lot of things about how to succeed in presidential politics 
that aren't necessarily uh, from the civic books, civics books. They aren't necessarily where we'd say, well, we think this is a thing that really matters in how to win, and that's a good thing. Um, it, but it is, it is the reality of, of where we are in America today. A lot of conservatives looked at Bill Clinton and his success, and they said, well, he succeeded because he's slick, he's the politician of a generation, he knows how to do things that no one else could copy. Um, he is a very good politician. Um, he does have the ability, as, uh, as he, the expression he uses is, he does have the ability to talk owls down from trees. But he also does a lot of things and did a lot of things as a national politician that we think people can copy. We interviewed President Clinton not just over the years. Um, uh, we talked to him so much when he was a presidential candidate in 1991 that sometimes he would come to the back of the plane late at night to talk to us, and, and we'd literally pretend to be asleep so he would go away. So. <laughs> Back then, I had a lot of time talking to him, a rare after he became president, but John and I interviewed him for the book up in his uh, living room in Chappaqua, New York, to talk about how he sees things now. And he's got some pretty definitive ideas, not just about what will work in 2008, uh, where he'll likely be advising at least one of the candidates, maybe more, but what didn't work for him when his presidency and his political career uh, as a national uh, figure went off track. Interviewed Karl Rove numerous times for the book. He showed great enthusiasm for the project um, for a variety of reasons, including that, that he trusted us to, to be fair to him. A lot of Democrats have looked at Karl Rove and George Bush and, and applied kind of the mirror image analysis. They've said, these guys are tough and ruthless, particularly Rove. They're willing to do anything to win. You can't really learn from them unless you're willing to break the rules the way they do if you're willing to be as tough and relentless. We, we reject that as well. Um, Karl Rove has admitted to doing a few things when he was a young man, uh, just starting out in politics as a, as a college student, uh, that, he, that he recognizes were wrong. Over the years, uh, the mythology has grown up about Karl that he uh, has done all of these things. He smeared John uh, McCain in 2000 in South Carolina. He micromanaged the Swift Boat Veterans for Truth going after John Kerry. A range of allegations, both from his Texas days and, and, uh, and from Washington and national politics. Some of those things may be true. But we found no proof for them, and, and none of our colleagues in journalism have, no Democrats ever have, no Republicans who at times have had motivation to find those things. Uh, they may be true, but our view is, is twofold. One is, in this country, uh, innocent until proven gu guilty even applies to political strategists. And if, if someone has evidence of some of these accusations, we'd love to hear it along with everybody else. But until we do, I think it's, 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 it's fairer to assume that, that Rove may not have done these things. But the more important point for our purposes was that's not why Karl Rove has been successful. He's been successful because he's a great political strategist. And we tried to break down throughout his long career in presidential politics, working, in fact, for the first President Bush in his uh, first presidential campaign back in 1978, what it was that Karl Rove had learned how to do, what makes him so good. We think there's a lot to learn from them. We think George Bush, uh, Karl Rove is the premier political strategist in the Republican Party, Bill Clinton this premier in the Democratic Party, and despite occasionally having problems, as, as Rove is having now. The Bushes and the Clintons are the premier uh, success stories of our politics because they're the premier political innovators. They don't do things the old way if the old way doesn't work. They think about the country, the mood of the country. They think about what works. And the book is largely organized around looking at the Bush uh, 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 political operation and the Clinton political operation and the environment and saying, what have they learned about the way to win? Karl Rove is not, as some have called him, Bush's brain. George Bush is a great political strategist. He's a very smart man. And one of the smartest political decisions he made was recognizing in, in his father's former advisor, Karl Rove, someone who could help him get to the White House and delegating a lot of authority to Karl Rove. Um, I won't try to list everything in the book because, again, it's the heart of the book, uh, that they share in common. And one of the things we found is their political orientations towards the challenges of running for president are remarkably similar. And, and they become uh, 